Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife, and it's almost Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> I don't know when this video will get out to you guys. It may be after Thanksgiving when you get this video. But anyway, right now it's before Thanksgiving. So, um, we are going to make a farmhouse cake, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, I've made this before, and I have a recipe that I use but I have found another recipe um, for this cake. And what I've done is taken the best things out of the first recipe and the best things out of the second, and we're gonna kinda combine them and make a recipe of its own. So that's what we're doing, and we will be right back. I've got a little boy running through the house, so if you hear him, I'm sorry. But anyway, that is what we're going to do. So stay tuned, we're making a farmhouse cake. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so where we want to start is right here on the stove top and I have three cups of water in this pot and we're going to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it off and pour in two cups of oats. So that's all we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring this to a boil, pour in two cups of oats, and just let it sit while we put together the rest of the cake. Okay, everyone, we're gonna move over here to our mixer. While I put the oatmeal in, I also preheated our oven to 350. Now we're going in with a stick and a half, which is three-fourths of a cup of butter. Um, and I'm also gonna add in a fourth of a cup of shortening. Now, one recipe I saw called for a whole cup of shortening and no butter but I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and add a fourth of a cup of shortening and a stick and a half of butter. You could do all of either one if you wanted all butter, but I think the shortening does give it a little specialness, so I am gonna add at least a fourth of a cup. But like I said, the recipe I saw calls for a whole cup, no butter, and a whole cup of shortening. Um, so, I'm just going to cream that, get that nice and fluffy, alright, now this next um, situation will probably wow you a little bit. It does call for quite a bit of sugar. It calls for two cups of brown sugar and two cups of white, so I'm actually going to add that in there now and we're gonna let that mix for a little while while that's mixing we're gonna move over and work on our flour all right I have three cups of all-purpose flour right here Let's see if I can get you level there all right and to that we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda two teaspoons of baking powder be sure your baking powder and everything is in, well in date and 
two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now, I use salted butter. If you don't use salted butter, by all means, okay, that was a little, I spilt a little bit off of that. If you don't use salted butter, you could definitely add a pinch of salt here. Um, I use salted butter, so I'm not going to use the salt. Alright guys, so to our sugar and um, butter mixture, we're going to go in with four eggs. I'm going to try to go in one at a time, but we'll see. Forgot to spin y'all around. All right, that was the fourth one going in. Okay, so now I'm going to take our flour mixture. And we're going to put it in a little at a time. Then I actually turn it down a notch. Whoops. This cake is so delicious and it has a very unusual like dressing. I mean dressing? An unusual, you can tell I'm in Thanksgiving mode. An unusual um, icing. Alright, let's put a little bit of vanilla in here. And we're going to add in our oatmeal mixture. I'm actually going to, let me scrape down the sides first. I think the sides look okay, but let's just in case, let's. let's scrape them down. Let it go again for a second. All right, now we'll add in our oatmeal mixture. Get it to mixing. You can see that really loosened up that batter. All right, loosened up the batter a whole lot. Let's get our pan ready. I'm just spraying it with Joy baking spray. It has the flour already in it. I love this stuff, especially when using a bunt cake pan. 
speaking of that, my sweet friend Bendy just sent me a new bunt pan. And I needed one so bad. And I am dying to use it. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? So I'm dying to use this. Thank you, Bendy, so very much. All right, let's pour this in here. It is a very runny batter, but it will set up. And you could have let your um, you could have let your oatmeal sit in the um, water, and it would have thickened up if I'd have let it sit a little longer. I'm in a hurry. We'll just cook it till it sets up. <laughs> Either way. All right, guys. It's going in a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. We'll see you back when it comes out. Okay, so the cake is out of the oven and um, you'll see a little divot in the center. It didn't collapse, it's just in the center, it kind of went down just a little bit. Um, let me just explain that. I checked on it a little prematurely and I jarred it a little too much when I checked on it and so, I mean, I literally watched it go, mm. <laughs> but it's still going to be delicious. And let me also oh. tell you, this is a heavy, when you get this out of the oven, it's, it's a, it's, it is solid. There is a solid cake here. <laughs> so here it is. And you can just see the, just slightly, just sunken just a little bit, but not much, but you know what? That's going to be delicious. And that's probably going to be the best part of the cake. So let's move over here and work on the icing just a little bit. All right. Okay, so let's start with our butter. We're going in with a stick and a half of butter, three-fourths of a cup. Go ahead and get my burner on. We're going to melt that. All right, guys, while that's melting, I'm going to gather up my other ingredients, and I'll meet you back right here. Okay, everybody, to our melting butter, we're going to add two cups of brown sugar. Okay. And we're just going to cook that until the sugar is dissolved. No amount of time. We just want to be sure the sugar gets good and dissolved. All right, I'm going to move you guys a little closer. We just want to lose any of the grittiness of the um, of the sugar. And I've got all my other ingredients sitting out over here ready to go in. This is a very, this is not your typical cake. This is, is, well, I mean, it might be typical for some. It's not one that I was raised, um, I mean, I'm, my mom may have made it. My, I'll get that out in a minute. My mama may have made it, but um, not to my knowledge. I don't remember it. Um, so this is a very unusual cake. All right, so I'm going to go in and add a half a cup of evaporated milk. Not a half a cup, a whole cup. Sorry about that. A whole cup of evaporated milk. I'm just going to bring it up back up to heat real quick. I 
want to bring it back up, you know, to a slight boil. And then once it comes to a slight, just a slight boil, I'll turn it off. We'll add three more things to this. We will pour it over that cake. And then what we do is we are going to set that cake under the broiler um, for just a little bit. In fact, well, I'll wait till we get it in there. All right, starting looks like it's starting to bubble up on the sides a little bit. Let me move <clears throat> Mr. Ham bone here. And I'll set the cake. We will set the cake. over here. There we go. All right, I'm going to cut the temperature off. I mean the heat off. And we're going to add in a little bit of vanilla. You know, I add vanilla to everything, I think. I'm going to add in 2 cups of coconut. And this is the frozen type of coconut. And if you'll hold on just a minute, I'll show you the packaging um, that it comes in. It's the bird's eye coconut um, and it's in the freezer section. So we're going to stir that around. You don't have to use that. You could um, by all means use um, unsweetened flaked coconut that you find in the baking section. It's just hard for me to find unsweetened. It seems like they all are sweetened. And so to that, we're also going to add in two cups of chopped pecans. So now, let's turn our attention to the cake, and we're just going to pour this over the cake. Ooh, making a mess on my oven. actually going to set this on a baking sheet so it didn't make a mess inside my oven. I have a mess to clean up now, I want to, right here at Thanksgiving. Oh, not too bad. It didn't do too bad. Okay, let's see if I can get any more on here. All right, guys, <laughs> it's going to spill out for sure. Create a little divot. It can run down in that divot. All right. Now, this is going to go under the broiler for just a little bit. So, um, you do not want to leave this. You want to hang really close by and stick around um, because tendency, if you're like me, I will forget it. Um, I, I watched somebody the other day, she said she actually sets a timer every time she puts anything in the broiler, just even though she doesn't know how long it's gonna take, she sets a quick timer just to keep her attention on the oven. So, um, I'm not going to do that, but, all right, here we go. When I say that is a heavy cake, that is a heavy cake. All right, we're going to turn it to broil. 
and we'll see you back in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, you only want to get it to where the pecans and coconut are browned, and they are. So we're going to let it cool, and then we'll get Bryant to do a taste test soon. All right, it's time for the taste test of the farmhouse cake. All right, guys, here we go. This is a great, great cake. It's full of flavor, nuts, coconut. Um, what else is in here, Mama? Uh, pecans, cinnamon. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Yes. It is full of flavor. It's got that autumn feel to it. It is really moist. This is a moist cake. Really good. Deep in flavor. The nuts just send it over the top. Gives you a texture change. The, I love coconut. You might not like it, but I love coconut. This right here, with a glass of milk or a cup of coffee, is great. All right, guys. There. This is what was on our Thanksgiving table, along with um, sweet potato pies and Caroline brought some chocolate pies and Cindy brought a dessert bread. So oatmeal cake or farmhouse cake. That's We call it the farmhouse cake. It's a heavy cake. It's a it cake. is heavy, but it is moist oh, and good. delicious. So, all right guys, there you have it from our professional taste tester. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay guys, um, we'll see you next time on the farm and pastor's wife. And remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye y'all.